Hi guys, I'm Melissa, and in today's video, I'll be talking about cross tiles, or cross tile puzzles, which is a unique way of approaching math. So in a cross tile puzzle, we fill in blank squares with the given entries to make true equations reading from the left to right and top to bottom. So cross tile puzzles may be a new concept for many of you. So I'll try to first solve an example to try to get to make cross tiles easier to understand for you. So first of all, we have an example question and it says use one, use negative one, negative two, three, and four to complete the cross tile puzzle on the right. So what we see here is what we call a cross tile puzzle. So it gives us the starting numbers and it gives us the resulting number of the equation. And so, as the instruction says, we go from left to right and top to bottom. And so the left column, to get from five to two, right, from five to two, we subtract three. So it's five minus three equals two. And so using these numbers to get minus three, so the numbers inside these two boxes must equal to negative three, then the only combination or possible way that we can do it is by using negative one and negative two. So it can be like negative one or negative two. But again, um, the two can change order based on the horizontal ones. So it's not fixed yet. We know that negative one and negative two should go in, but the order can be negative two and negative one or negative one and negative two. So we have to look at other rows and columns before we finalize that. And in the bottom row, to get from 11 to 14, we need to add three. And adding three, we can only do that by using four and negative one. And so we know that the negative one should go in here. So it becomes like that. And then from six to three, we need a seven. We need to add seven. So this would be three since three plus four is seven. So now that we have all the boxes filled, we're just gonna do one quick check to make sure that everything is correct. So seven, so minus two and three gives us plus one and seven plus one is eight. Um, minus one plus four is three. And so 11 plus three is 14. So the horizontal ones are all correct. Now let's look at the vertical columns. From negative two plus negative one is negative three, and five minus three is two, and three plus four is seven, and six plus seven is 13. So all of this is correct. Um, now we have uh, a lot of cross tile puzzle questions and practice problems. And so I'll be going over these practice problems and if you guys need time to solve these cross tile puzzles on your own before I go over the solutions, feel free to pause the video at any time and then resume or play the video again when you finish the question. So let's look at number 47. Um, the numbers that we can use is one, two, three, and five. And so we'll look at the left column first. From eight to 15, we need to add seven. Right, since 8 plus 7 is 15. And the only possible way of getting a 7 is by using 2 and 5. Again, it can go like this, or it can also go this, either way. Now let's look at <clears throat> the bottom. Well, let's look at the horizontal rows, not the bottom. Um, from 7 to 15, we need to add 8. And the only possible way to get eight from this combination is five and three. So we know that the five must go in here. Now, since we have one number left, we're gonna add that and make sure that it's correct. And from, to get from nine to 13, we need to add four and three plus one is four. So we'll check everything to make sure that all the numbers are correct. So, Seven, five plus three is eight, and seven plus eight is 15. So this row works. 
2 plus 1 is 3, and so 9 plus 3 is 12, so this row also works. Now let's look at the vertical columns. 5 plus 2 is 7, and 8 plus 7 is 15, so this column works. And 3 plus 1 is 4, and 9 plus 4 is 13, so this column works. And we have solved the cross tile puzzle. Now let's take a look at question number 48. This is also a similar type of question, but now the entries or possible number combinations that we can use are all negative numbers. Now let's look from the left column again. So to get from 21 to 10, we need to subtract 11. So we need a negative 11. And the only possible way of getting a negative 11 is by using negative 8 and negative 3. Again, it can go in like this, or it can go in the other order by adding negative 3 in the top and negative 8 in the bottom. Now we're going to check which order it goes in by looking at the horizontal rows. Now to get from 15 to 5, we need to subtract 10. So we need a combination that gives us negative 10. And from the number combinations, the only possible combination that gives us a negative 10 is using negative 8 and negative 2. Now we know that, therefore, or because of that, the negative 8 should go in here. And we're left with negative 4. So now again, let's do a quick check to make sure that everything is correct. Negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10. And 15 minus 10 is 5, so this row works. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7, and 10 minus 7 is 3, so this row also works. Now let's look at the vertical columns. Negative 8 minus, or negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11, and 21 minus 11 gives us 10, so this column works. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6, and 24 minus 6 gives us 18. Again, we know that all of these <clears throat> columns and rows work, so we have solved the cross tile puzzle successfully. Now we have a lot more practice problems, and so I'll be going over the solutions for all of them. Again, free, um, feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. And yeah, I'll be going over these problems. So question number 49. Um, we have the, the available numbers that we have are negative 1, 1, negative 5, and 5. So to get from 10 to 16, we need to add 6. So to get plus 6, the combination should be 1 and 5. Or let's start from the left column first, like we always see. To get from 10 to 6, we need to subtract 4. And the com only combination that works for negative 4 is plus 1 and negative 5. Now which order should it go in? Well, um, from 10 to 16 we need to add 6 and so the only combination that works to add 6 or get a plus 6 is 5 and 1. So we know that the order should be 1 and negative 5 and 5. Now the number that we're left with is negative 1. So let's check here. So 1 plus 5 is 6, and 10 plus 6 is 16. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6, and 10 minus 6 is 4. Uh, let's look at the vertical columns now. And so 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4, and so 10 minus 4 is 6. And 5 plus negative 1 is 4, and 10 plus 4 is 14. Now we'll look at question number 50. So the possible numbers that we can use are 1, 3, negative 5, and 5. And so again, we'll start from the left column first. So to get from 14, to get to 14 from 18, we need to subtract 4. And to get negative 4, the combination that works is negative 5 and 1. Now to figure out if negative 5 goes in here or here, we're going to look at the horizontal rows. And so from 7, to get from 7 to 11, we need to add 4. And the combination that works for plus 4 is 1 and 3. 
So we know that 1 should go in here and negative 5 goes in here. Now the number that we're left with is 5. So again, we'll do a check to make sure that everything works out. So 1 plus 3 is 4, and 7 plus 4 is 11. So this one works, this row works. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and so 9 plus 0 is just itself 9. This row also works. We'll look at the columns now. So 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4, and so 18 minus 4 is 14. And 3 plus 5 is 8, and 3 plus 8 is 11. Now we have solved the cross how puzzle successfully. Now, I'll be giving you guys about, um, now that I've solved some practice problems for you guys, and you guys have understood how to solve these types of questions, um, I'll be giving you guys about one minute to two minutes to solve question number 51, and then I'll be going over the solution. So I'll be giving you guys um, about a minute to solve this question. And so, yeah, um, I'll go over the solution after a minute. And if you guys need more than one minute to solve this question, then again, just pause the video and then feel free to resume the video after you're done solving. But for now, I'll give you guys around one to two minutes. Okay, so I'll be going over the solution for question number 51. And so the possible number <clears throat> com uh, numbers that we can use are plus 2, ne 2, negative 4, negative 4, and 8. <clears throat> so, to get, let's look at the left column first. So to get from 10 to 14, we need to add 4. And adding 4, the only combination that works using the numbers that we are given is negative 4 and 8. And so we're going to figure out which order it should go in. 
And so, um, we're going to look at the horizontal row. And to get from 10 to 8, we're subtracting. And if we have an 8 in here, uh, we would need negative 10 since we need to subtract 2. And we don't have negative 10. And so that tells us that we cannot use 8 in this box. And so we're going to put the negative 4 in the first box. And since we need a negative 2, since 10 minus 2 is 8, um, we need a combination of negative 2 from these two boxes. And so negative 4 plus 2 will give us negative 2. And so the only number that we have left is negative 4. And so we'll see if all the rows and columns work out. So minus 4 plus 2 is negative 2, or minus 2, and 10 minus 2 is 8. So this row works. 8 plus negative 4 is 4, and 10 plus 4 is 14. We'll look at the columns now. So 10, um, negative 4 plus 8 is 4, and so 10 plus 4 is 14. 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2, and so 10 minus 2 is 8. So all of the rows and columns work, and we have solved the cross tile puzzle. Now let's take a look at question number 52. The possible numbers that we have are 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 6. Now we'll look at the left column first. To get from 22 to 21, we need to get we need to subtract 1. And the only combination that gives us negative 1 is plus 1 and negative 2. Now to figure out which order it goes in the boxes, we'll look at the horizontal rows. So to get from 24 to 22, we need negative 2. And the only combination that works to give us a negative 2 is 1 and negative 3. And so it's going to go in like this. And so eventually we have negative 6 in the last box. And now we'll see if all these number, um, the way we order the numbers work out. So 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. And so 24 minus 2 is 22. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. And 28 minus 8 is 20. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. And so 22 minus 1 is 21. Negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. And 25 minus 9 is 16. So all of these boxes work out. And again, we've solved the cross tile puzzles. And so... Before we move on to harder cross tile puzzles, and I mean harder because now we have six boxes instead of four boxes, I want you guys to really get used to how to solve these cross tile puzzles yourselves. And so again, I'll be giving you some time to solve question 53 and 54. So I'll be giving you guys around uh, four minutes in total to solve both questions. Again, if you need more time, just always pause the video and um, try solving these two questions before we move on to a bit more difficult and harder cross style puzzles. So I'll be giving you guys four minutes to solve both problems. If you need more time, just pause the video and then um, come back to the video when you're done.
Okay, so I'll be going over the solutions for question 53 and 54. And so for question number 53, the possible numbers that we can use is 3, negative 4, 5, and negative 6. And so we're going to look at the first left column first. Um, the first column or the left column. So to get from 19 to 16, we need to subtract 3. So we need a combination that gives us negative 3. And from here, the only combination that would work is negative 6 and 3. Now to figure out the order, we're going to look at the horizontal rows. And so to get from 18 to 26, we need to add 8. And the only combination that works is 5 and 3. So the 3 is going to go on the top box, and the negative 6 is going to go here. And we have the 5. And so eventually the negative 4 will be the last box. And we're just going to check if these numbers, or the way we put the numbers in the boxes, work out. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and 18 plus 8 gives us 26. Negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10, and 17 minus 10 is 7. Um, 3 plus negative 6 is negative 3, and 19 minus 3 is 16. And 5 plus negative 4 is 1. And 20 plus 1 is 21. And so this crosstail puzzle was correct, or we solved the crosstail puzzle correctly. And we'll look at the last four box crosstail puzzle, which is question number 54. Um, the numbers that we have are 11, negative 22, negative 33, and 44. And so we'll look at the left column first. So to get from 55 to 77, we need to add 22. And so the combination that gives us 22 is 44 and negative 22. Now from 55 to get, to get to 44 from 55, we need to subtract 11. And the only combination that works is 11 and negative 22. So the numbers are probably going to go in like this. And so we'll check and see if that's right. Negative 22 plus 11 is negative 11, and 55 minus 11 is 44. 44 plus negative 33 is 11, and 55 plus 11 is 66. Negative 22 plus 44 is 22, and 55 plus 22 is 77. 11 plus negative 33 is negative 22, and so 55 minus 22 is 33. So now that we've mastered four box cross tile puzzles, we're going to look at cross tile puzzles that are a bit more difficult, which involve six, um, six boxes instead of four boxes. And so I'll go over number 55 um, and tell you the solution right now. And so the numbers that we can use is negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 3, and 3. And so we'll look at the left column first. Uh, to get from 10 to 12, we need to add 2. And so we're going to look for combinations that give us plus 2. Um, the possible combinations will be, well, the only possible combination that we see is 3 and negative 1. So we need to figure out what order it's going to go in. But if we look at the horizontal rows, um, the first row we need to add 6, but the second row we need to subtract 6. And now that gives us the hint that probably um, the boxes that are involved with the first row are going to have to be positive because the numbers are small, so adding small positive numbers will probably end up to six. And for the boxes that are involved in the second row, it probably needs to be negative numbers because adding negative numbers will probably give us negative six because these negative numbers are small. And so we'll try. And so the positive numbers that we have are three, two, one, and three plus two plus one is six and negative one neg plus negative two plus negative three is negative six. So this order is correct. 
Now we just, we're just gonna look at the second column and to get from 10 to 10, we need to add zero. And that means um, it should be like two and negative two or three and negative three, right? Because added together, they should be zero. And so we're, we're gonna look at the last column to figure out the boxes. And so from 10 to eight, to get from 10 to eight, we need to subtract two. And the combination that can give us negative two is negative three and one. And so we're, we have two and negative two. Now we're just gonna do a quick check to see if these boxes are correct. And so three plus two plus one is 16. Negative um, three plus two plus one is six. And so 10 plus six is 16. Negative one plus negative two plus negative three is negative six. And 10 minus six is four. Now let's check the columns. 3 plus negative 1 is 2, 10 plus 2 is 12, 2 plus negative 2 is 0, 10 plus 0 is 10, 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, and so 10 minus 2 is 8. Now I know this cross style puzzle was a bit harder than the ones that we've been doing with four boxes, so I want you guys to practice with question number 56 before we go over some slightly more difficult problems. And so I'll be giving you guys two minutes or well, two to three minutes to solve question number 56. Again, if you need more time, feel free to pause the video and then come back to it when you're done solving the question. And so after three minutes, I'll be going over the solutions. Okay, so I'll be going over the solution to 56. And so um, we're gonna look at the first column, four to four. So that means um, we need to add nothing. So we need a plus zero. So that means that we need a negative one and one because those two cancel out.
And the reason why I put the one, um, I put negative one on the first, on the box on the top, is because, again, looking at the horizontal rows, from five to four, we need a negative one. From six to seven, we need a plus one. So, we probably need the negative number to go in where the number gets smaller, especially since the numbers are so small. But this can change, so we're, we're just going to leave this as a temporary decision. We're not going to finalize anything yet, but um, since it's likely that the top is going to be negative 1, we're going to first place it there. Um, to get from 3 to 1, we need to add 2, and so the only combination is 1 and 1. Now, to get from 2 to 4, we need... Um, we need to add 2. And so that is going to also get... Um, we're also going to need 1 and 1. But look, um, now we've used 5 ones, which doesn't make sense. Since we only have 3 ones available. So, oh, sorry, um, I thought it was one to three, so it was, sorry, um, it was actually three to negative one, so we need to subtract two, I'm sorry for the confusion, so the only option we have is negative one and negative one. Now let's check if these squares are properly filled. Negative one plus negative one. Plus 1 is negative 1, and so 5 minus 1 is 4. 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 is 1, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and 4 plus 0 is 4. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Now let's take a look at question number 57. Um, the entries or the possible numbers we have are negative 1 to negative 3, 4, negative 5, and 6. And so... We're going to first look at the left column. And to get from 14 to 20, we need to add 6. And the only possible combination is 2 and 4. Now... Now, um, we need to figure out um, what order it should go in. So we're just gonna leave it as a temporary decision and we're gonna look at the column in the right. So to get it from 16 to 12, the only comp we need to subtract four and the only combination is negative one and negative three. And so again, we need to figure out the order. So we're gonna leave it as a temporary decision. And for the middle column, um, that means we should use the negative 5 and 6 somewhere here. And that works because 15, we need to add 1 to 15, and 6 plus negative 5 is 1. Now we need to figure out if the order is correct. So in the left column, if we place 4 above the 2, then we cannot complete either row, right? And that's because... And that's because already if we add the 4 here, that gives us 16. And these two can only add up to 1. But, that's, but we already have 6 and negative 3. That we already can't make a combination that gives us, negative, that gives us a plus 1 using these two. So the number here should be smaller. So that would be 2 here and 4 here. And using the same logic, um, we know that this is probably the correct combination of numbers. So we're gonna test it out. So two plus six plus negative three is five, and 12 plus five is 17. Four plus negative five plus negative one is negative two, and 13 minus two is 11. And looking at the columns, two plus four is six, 14 plus six is 20. Six plus negative five is one, 15 plus one is 16. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4, and 16 minus 4 is 12. Now, our last question is negative 1. The numbers that we have are negative 1, negative 1, 4, 5, negative 5, and 9. 
And so for question number 58, to get from 20 to 28, we need to add 8, and so we need to use negative 1 and 9. For the, We'll just add the numbers we need instead of adding it into the squares because they can go in either order. Um, for the middle row, we need to add 9, and so the possible combination is going to be 5 and 4. To get from 20 to 14, we need to subtract 6, and so we need negative 1 and negative 5. Now from 20 to 19, we need to subtract 1, um, and so the numbers that we're, the three numbers that we're going to use to get negative 1 is negative 1, 5, and negative 5. These two cancel out, so we have negative 1. Then that means the numbers we have are 9, 4, and negative 1, and all of the rows and columns are satisfied with the combination. So we know that that works out. Yeah, and so that is the end of today's lesson. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, please just let me know through my email. Um, and my email is Melissa Kim. 555 at gmail.com and so just let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll see you in the next video bye